Hello and welcome to this video. In it, we'll review how to send information from multiple forms using REST filters. The structure of these forms uh, will have a parent form, in this case, double C test parent REST, and we'll have some information. And then a child form that would be double C test child REST. And it's linked to the parent form using the parent foreign key, this uh, request ID one. So that's the form structure, nothing uh, too complicated. And these two uh, child elements have basic data that we will send in a, in a request. So uh, with that in mind, how do we prepare a filter doing a set fields for REST API? So um, I'm going to oversee all the authentication and other situations. I'll, I'll focus on the request mapping, meaning the information that we want to send from Remedy into a third party REST application. In this case, I'm pointing to a fiddler so it would be uh, working as uh, the receiver of these requests, and we will be able to inspect it in different formats here. So I'll clear all that. And uh, let's focus on the mapping then. So the JSON key uh, could have any label, in this case, parent. And uh, this is the label for the field that we want to map. and uh, we're grabbing this information from the parent form, and the field that we're mapping here is short description. The rest of the items would be uh, defaulted, no primary key, no foreign key, distinguished key. The JSON type is going to be a string, and the child array index is not going to be set. But in order to send a um, child element, what we're going to do is get a key. This could be the same key as parent or a different key as in this case. And then you can add as many levels as you may want. I've tested this with up to five, and this works fine. And uh, I put uh, two keys after uh, child, children, pipe, comments pipe, letter A, pipe, and finally the commenter label. That's the label for the field itself. Then email and body. I've repeated that for the rest. And of course, this is mapped to the child form. And we're specifying what is the parent form. I'm mapping uh, all these fields to um, the short description. The primary key is the primary key on this child form. The foreign key is, of course, uh, migrated from the parent form. And the distinguished key is going to be the request ID. JSON type is also the same, and I'm leaving the child array index as zero. So what that would do is get us the information in the very first level. So I'm going to go to the parent form and update it and save it. And I'll go back to Fiddler to see what we received. So what we received is a JSON structure that has two main keys. One is the parent, and I'll try to match it to what's in the background. One is the parent with the client name label and the value I updated on the form. And um, the second main key is children, but underneath that, there's going to be comments object, then object A, and finally, the uh, the three labels that we've defined, body, email, and commenter. I'm going to create a new buffer here so I can show you structure. We have that parent key with the client name attribute, children. And then underneath children uh, label, there's an array. And that array contains objects. So that's the effect we get with um, these child array index set to zero. I'm going to mo move that to one so we can observe the change. I'm going to save that filter and trigger it again. And that's update one. I'll take a look at Fiddler and get that value. And index is set to one. 
And as you can see, uh, underneath children, there is an object with a comments value, and under comments, there is an array. That's all for today. Thanks for your time.